Hello everyone and welcome back to Sunless Sea. Last time we left off, um, I don't really remember what happened, but that's okay because uh, this is quite a long game, so I'm not going to worry about not remembering what we did, and I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes. If we uh, make it back to port before then, I'll end the episode, but this, just make sure that we know what time we're at. and. I think the last time we were here, we actually went through all of this, so how much we have 12 fuel, I, we could probably get a little bit more. How much money? 439? Wolf Stacks Exchange. I'm gonna keep that Centilac for a while because I might need it. <sighs> Naval Surplus, I don't need that. Um, Miss Plenty Shipside Provisioners. Let's get a couple more fuel. Let's get 16 fuel. So our ship is pretty full right now, but by the time we uh, make it back, we will probably be down to like five maybe, but I want to be safe. Better safe than sorry. So let's see where we haven't been. I think we should go out towards Saints Haven and kind of make it this way because I have a feeling that there's going to be something around here. So we're going to go to uh, St. Haven, skip to here, see what's around here. Sound like a plan? I hope you all have been having a pretty good day, and hopefully we uh, read the newspaper while we were in London. Hopefully the music kicks in. There is the Dubois Maelstrom. I don't know if I'm actually saying that right. I think I am. But uh, we're going to avoid hitting that. It would be nice if our engine could go a little faster, but I think this is probably as fast as we're going to get for a while. So here is Pigmoat Island, who nobody really believes us when we actually go there. Our, um, our mirror seems to be our highest. Okay, so let's stop at... Pigmoat Island. Hail Marinia! We can... Okay. The aid takes you to the coast where the huts still smolder from the last pirate attack. Those beastly raiders keep coming for our precious Centilac, it squeaks, shaking a paw in impotent fury rage. Furry rage, my bad. How can we protect our shores, hairless advisor? I think I've already said that. I don't want to do that. 60%. I'm gonna say, uh, uh, suggest they raise conscription. It'll be unpopular, but safety comes first. Parents nuzzle their pups farewell, holding back the tears just long enough. The conscripts waddle towards the training camp in hastily made ill-fitting armor. Oh, so that makes us lose spirit. Oops. Let's, uh, visit the cabbies. Um, if two houses work together... Okay, so we need to have a lot more spirit. We don't want to assist their revolution. Pigmoat Isle approaches a crossroads. Oh dear. Compile a port report. Probably the next time we uh, show up, it's probably not gonna do too well. Eh. Well, my bad. Just fuck their town up. We're gonna go this way. Oh dear. I'm gonna turn off the light. 
Hopefully they don't see us. Because I'd rather they not see us. Okay, so let's send out our Z-Bat. Pigmount, yes I know where Pigmount Island. There might be stuff down here. It's not really showing us. We've entered a f Gator's Morn, southeast, so never eat this way. Yeah! Probably turn on our lights now. Yeah, this is actually kind of big. It's like a bunch of different islands. Pretty cool. Do they have a place that we can stop? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe we'll try up there. There's some lily pads. And a big old frog. Yeah, that's a port. Okay, we can stop there. Cool. I guess it kind of showed you where the uh, lamp was, but it's fine. A buoy, I guess they're called. Okay, Gator's Morn. The Morn is a stalagmite vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The Corsair Citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the Z. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan and cling to stanchions. Higher, higher, now the Untrazi shimmers like glass below, children clamoring and crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. <laughs> Excuse me as I zip my, my hoodie, it's kind of cold. And you hang in a cradle next to a red-bowed pirate cutter. Let's see what we want to do here. We should probably, um, gather intelligence? M maybe not. Uh, overhear rumors? Let's do do rumors. Land lovers fear pirates. Pirates fear the poet. Lies, nonsense, glimmers. Some say she's a clay man who freed herself with the power of verse. Possible. Others insist she's the personal muse of the king with a hundred hearts. Unlikely. When claimed, she sails on a living ship made of the still screaming skulls of her victims. More sober voices mutter that no is just an ecclesiastic vessel. Whether the truths few have fought her and survived to tell the tale, only the bravest of captains risk to fly the lonely parts of the Z where her flag is said to fly. Okay. An evening at the errant limpet. Uh, explore the morn. Let's explore. The morn is a still a uh, we already read that. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the morn. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the bite beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throatful of lurching terror. Intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. We can... Um... Probably not gonna go for the... We'll try troglodyte prawns. Huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but they smell fresh. Tangy and toothsome. Walk on, chewing cheerfully. Lost five hunger, lost terror. Okay. What are these? How much is it? Five echo? Pay the lawyer during docker for his strategic information. Admiralty sent you? Price has gone up. It's not safe here. You'll pay the difference, won't you? A grin. You're a generous soul. He'll have your reward the other side of the river one day. And here's a little reward for now. Good sailing to ye. The report is barely legible. Perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiralty will know. So we got some strategic information. Oh, so this is where they wanted us to go. <laughs> okay. So we finally did that. Now uh, let's do an afternoon at the Eret Limpet. A drinking den by the docks cradles is a good place for your crew to find companionship and let off steam. 
But although Gators Morn is free port, the Corsairs prefer their own and look askance at respectable Londoners. Cold shoulders at the air at Limpet. Conversation quiet so the drinkers look round. You've been here too long and you're attracting the wrong kind of attention. Time to move on. And I think that is about all we can do here. Okay, so let's look at our map. Do they have any shops? They do. Okay, so their fuel is a little more expensive. We could buy a couple of fuel, but I think for right now we're okay. The friendly face. I don't want to sell my uh, illegal goods. Okay, so can we check our chart? I think I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so off we go. Full speed ahead. Even this full, full speed is not the uh, fastest of all speeds. We'll let out our Z-Bat, see if he finds anything. I wonder if we could hit these lily pads. I prefer not to find out. Sea of Lilies is a long way northeast, so that way. Well, kind of figured that. Okay, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Okay, hi, buddy. You're something I don't want to mess with. It's very pretty. Turn off the light. distance to the east, so that's that way. Let's go this way then. Check our chart. Oh. Discovered the Sea of Lilies. Yay. No islands, though. Godfall is a long way northeast, so this way? We could try to swing by there. If we have to, we can always go back to Gator's Barn and get some fuel. We hear those voices that will not be drowned. This is the sea of voices. We are close to Polythreme where nothing is truly dead. Cool. I think we might actually be able to uh, get... Is this Polythreme? I don't think it is. Where are we? We're actually kind of far out. This map is really big. Okay, so we are at Godfall, which looks like a mummy. Sometimes just occasionally. Bits of the roof fall off, but be glad you weren't here when this one did. <laughs> so Godfall was a piece of the roof that fell off into the ocean. Um, the brawling bearded men who live here call themselves monks. We don't have any wine. We do have a hunting trophy. Shouting... What's, um, the brawling, they pay lip service to Sir Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof, but their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. Off blood. Offer them a hunting trophy as a gift for their collection. The trophy inspires the monks to feast of bragging. This one broke a giant albino moray's neck. This one wrestled a heptichir. A third punched his way out of a bound shark, a fourth, and so on. You are largely forgotten, but there are truths of note in among all the tipsy boasting. Okay. Um, so that basically got me, I think, a port report? Cool. So, Polythreme. Where is Polythreme? Zebat, off you go. Tell me where it is. I don't want to battle. Polythreme is northwest. North, northwest? Well, here's Comingle. Comingle? Oh, this is Polythreme. Hi, Polythreme. Ooh, with some teeth looking thing right there. It's gross. Let's dock. Here is Screaming. Tacaturn Claymen. Evasive. Clothes, colonies, walking like humans, cobbles that groan underfoot. On the hills above, a palace via of villa of marble, but even that writhes like buried bones in an earthquake. 
Uh, let's gather some intelligence. The king with a hundred hearts rules from his palace above the city. He is never seen. He makes no treaties with other lands, but there is unrest in the air. Why is our boat still... Can we calm down? I guess not. Guess you're gonna have to deal with that. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, let's get some shore leave. Drink a beer that wails from cups that sob. If you like that sort of thing. Oh, thirty echo. That's not too bad. Okay, <laughs> one whole echo. Wow. And let's get uh, some clay men. You now have six. Each one lies down in its appointed position next to each other, nestled snugly head to foot. We are for London, one explains to you. You now have six clay men marked for London. Okay, do you have any? Yeah, we are clay. We can buy an extra one? Oh. Trio of clay stokers will reduce crew requirements, but also increase engine power. They're fitted with the auxiliary strut. When they are not in use, they will stand patiently, hand by their sides, flat gray eyes unreadable. One will sometimes say, I like it when it's quiet. My, my. And those are 300? I don't know if I want to do that now, but that does seem like a good idea. Oh, now it stops. <sighs> this fucking thing. Okay. Um, I guess we can... Oh, don't do that. It's gonna make the fucking thing explode. I am definitely not driving well today. I think we needed to go to, uh... We can spend secrets to improve abilities. Oh, well. How much do we have? Speak to him. Increase our veils. How are our veils? 41? Hmm. How many do we have? We have five secrets. Okay. Um, let's talk to him. Captain, Captain, my sleep is riddled with dreams, madame. Dreams of bells and candles. Can we just talk to you? He paces the deck. I see a lonely house lit by tallow and wick. A bell is ringing. It rings now, do you hear it? He scratches at his sigil, which has begun to bleed. Do you know this place, Captain? Can I plot a course? A place of candles and bells, the chapel of lights, and a northern church where no sin is too terrible. Okay. So he wants to go to the chapel of lights, which I think we can swing by. Where is it? Chapel of lights, chapel of lights. Yeah, it's this way. I don't know, that might be a bit, a bit far, but we could stop by Abbey Rock, chapel of lights, and then... Hunter's Keep, but that's really far away. Well, yeah, we only have eight fuel, so I'm gonna say not, not today, sir. Not today. Are we going in an area? Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're going in a bit of an area that we don't know. Tides of Appetite is somewhere northeast. That sounds interesting. No, not today. Can't do it right meow. Not right meow. What's this? Far off, very far off, someone screams. The Shepherd Isles. Can we... Can we park somewhere? Have we been here? I don't think we've been here. We might have been. Yeah, we've been here. Okay, so we'll stop by. This is the place with no sheep. Let's see. We can have a picnic. Lost three terror. Okay. Compile a port report. And then we can go. Okay. Why do I keep doing that?
Oh, it's F. That's why. Because I keep overshoot overshooting D. There's West Gren's Fire, which is the lighthouse. Probably should have bought more fuel. I think we'll be okay. Maybe turn off our lights. There's a crab. Okay, crabs are fine. Horrors below. Zailers at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says, his voice a tremble. Um, yeah, don't, don't look. Whatever's down there, it's better not to know. They'll forget soon enough. I'm really enjoying this game. I knew I would because I really love the story and everything, but it's a very relaxing kind of game. Hmm. We might be able to pick up some uh, good old Sphinx stone while we're here. We can visit the Unmakers. Gain a fragment, okay. Compile a port report, okay. And how much is it? It's 200? Yeah, we can, we can afford it. Okay, so we are damn near completely full of hull, which is fine. And then we'll make a beeline to Hunter's Keep and hopefully make it with no problem. Again? Just don't look. Stop looking at it. There should be a rule, just don't look overboard. It's a bad idea. Yeah, because we want to get to, uh, so we need to aim down. Except not down enough for the ship to meet us. Hey, ship! I don't know you and you don't know me, but I don't want to deal with you right now. It's not my cup of tea. Have a truck. We're here. So we'll make it to Hunter's Keep pretty soon. Yeah, I don't want to mess with them. It was a big boat. An electric shiver to the air. Storm is watching, the sailors would say. Almost a hunter's keep. We're a little terrified. Eh, I'm sure it's okay. Almost there. Come on, hunter's keep. Because I think we needed just the clay man to uh, finish his quest line. Okay, Hunter's Keep. Let's have lunch with uh, Lucy. She always makes you very happy. Gained one supply, lost ten terror. Ooh, we can visit the cellar. Should we do it? Hmm. We will need, the mechanic tells the sister, to visit your sub-cellar. Oh, that's a nasty place, Lucy says airily, a little hastily. Yes, we'll take you down there, she smiles, but we'll need stories. Something alarming for Cynthia, a Z story for Phoebe, and a tale of distant places for me. Okay. The sisters listen to delight with your stories and unlock the cellar door for you. The key is so heavy that Cynthia can only lift it with both hands. We won't go in, she says. We, we don't go in. The signs on the stones have a cog... Co co Coganian? Yeah, Coganian. 
look. In the deepest subcellar, your candle illuminates a litter of tumbled stones, the remnants of a temple. The pool at the cellar's center is almost dry. The remaining water there seethes oddly in the candlelight, as if it were near boiling, but it's cool to the touch. The writhing river flows near here, the, me the mechanic remarks. One of the tributaries of dream. I hope it doesn't touch the well those poor girls drink from. My enemies find me while I sleep, but this water will attract my enemies to see this poor fellow. He bends to dip his hand in the water and sketches a sign on the clay man's forehead. The man watches him stolidly. The mechanic hands him the mirror catch box. Hold this, he says. Keep it open. Don't let go, no matter what happens. The clay man's huge hand unfolds the box. There, the mechanic says, turning to you. A serpent trap. Now I can sleep. I can finally sleep. He smiles, and then I think I may be able to offer you something rather interesting. Okay. Okay, and then we'll make it back to London, and that will be the end of the episode. It's pretty safe in home waters, which I'm thankful for. Okay, so here I'm going to save it. Manual save. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I will see you all later.